Hi guys, it's reaction time. Before I get onto the reaction, a huge thank you to Smoking Snakes for sending me this brilliant, brilliant t-shirt this week through the post. Thanks so much to the band. They've got an excellent album called Danger Zone that's already been released a couple of weeks ago on Frontiers Records. Um, it's amazing, you'll love it. Uh, okay, on to the next reaction. A big one, it's a big one. Now, you will see this video cut to bits on purpose from me because it will not make, it won't be my usual reaction. You won't see the full song. You won't hear the full song. They just copyright me immediately. So that'd be just, you know, I will edit it and I will give you snippets of the song, but I can't give you the full song like I always do. I just can't because they just, they don't just stop the monetization. <laughs> they just blank it, they just block me altogether and I can't even upload the video. So I have to usually end up doing a short. I'm gonna do something a little bit different with this one. This will be a bit longer, but you still won't hear much of the song, I'm afraid. It's just one of those things. I'm sure you've all heard it anyway. So you could just hear me rambling on a little bit more, that's all. So The Serpent and The King is the new song. I've heard some great things about it as well. Lots of people have asked for this one. I've been bombarded a little bit this week from the regulars as well, like Ralph and uh, Paul Relay, but lots of other people said it's a great song. So no doubt, because the first three songs have been absolutely brilliant. In fact, I could say right now, um, anyone who's followed me on this channel since the beginning will know that I'm not the biggest Judas Priest fan. Um, I like them. I like a lot of their songs, but I haven't, you know, I'm not, they're not my favorite metal band or anything like that. But I've got to say, we're going on what we've heard so far. Um, I think this is going to be one brilliant album and it wouldn't surprise me if it easily makes it into my top albums of the year. I think they have got better, believe it or not. So really been impressed with every song so far. This is The Serpent and The King. Here we go. Oh! Well, I actually didn't need, sometimes I write things down. I didn't, I don't actually need to write anything down with this because it is Judas Priest. That's what you could say about this. This is Judas Priest. It just sums them up brilliantly. Definitely got that painkiller vibe running through it. You know, the guitar, especially in the verses, that just that me, full metal assault painkiller vibe in the verses. But what I really love about this is that I love the way it, change the pace slightly in that chorus and sort of went into this really groove laden the guitars especially doing this picking this sort of bluesy sort of groove laden feel out it, it doesn't sound bluesy overall but when you actually listen to those guitars they really grind in a cool sort of rhythm out there um rob halford i mean man he's how can he sing like that it's just ridiculous <laughs> um out of all the singers you know and there are some about i'm not gonna have a go at older singers now by the way because there's some that have just kept their voice brilliantly and looked after themselves michael sweet at striper being one of them rob halford being another bruce dickinson being another you know there's not it's not like we can always shout at those people you know the vince nils <coughs> people you know people like that in the world of rock and metal and have a go at them um and yeah they are they haven't they, they've not aged well but they are you know, been singing for years, don't forget that. But there's others that have, you know, aged very well. And Rob Halford probably being maybe at the top of that, you know, keeping his vocals, heard him live as well. He, he sounds brilliant live. So, you know, you can't argue the fact that him singing like that is a bit mad, isn't it? It's a bit mental. He sounds, put this alongside Painkiller, he sounds the same to me. He does, he really does. So it's just a full metal assault. Judas Priest, it's, it is very, I want to say paint by numbers Judas Priest. I suppose you could say that because it is, you can't get away from that. There are people that try to emulate Priest and take influence from them, so many. And I think, I think you know, if you actually look at all the bands now, the metal bands around that are around, probably more than more than any other band Judas Priest have influenced those those guys. And, and so many times bands, don't they, they name drop. Uh, Judas Priest they, they always do it's like you know all metal bands are like influence whether it's fresh bands whether it's like straight up new wave of British heavy metal type bands you know it's always like 
priest, priest, priest. And they are the kings of it. There's, there's, there's bands that try to emulate them, but there's no one that sounds like them exactly because they can only do it how they can do it. I've got to say, the, the production really, I think that's what's turned me on to Priest more in the last couple of years. Andy Sneap's production, I think it sounds great. Some people have a go about his production like it's a bit samey across all projects. I think it's got a bit of a more raw feel on this Priest album, especially even more than Firepower. I think it's got a, a rougher sort of edge, which is good. It's not too polished, if you know what I mean. I think it's bringing out the best in the band for sure. I love it. It, it is absolutely fantastic. In fact, I've loved all four singles so far. I love the difference in Crown of Horns. I think that was great as well, in between all the heaviness of the other three tracks. But this, you couldn't get more Priest than this song. It's brilliant. Here we go for the rest. Well, that was relentless, wasn't it? <laughs> that was brilliant. I was often expecting the solo. When the solo first kicked in, I thought, here we go. This is going to be like soloing for like three minutes or something. I wasn't actually looking at how long the song was, but I was thinking, here we go. This is going to be like that painkiller extended solo. We're going to see them swapping in and out for about three minutes. Didn't actually happen, but it was brilliant. It was brilliant. The shredding. I mean, there's the guitar work, man. It's just... It's just mind blowing. I love that heavy riff when it sort of kicked into that heavy groove when it slowed down a little bit after the solo as well. Or was it before the solo? <sighs> Can't even remember. It's not good, is it? What a critic I am. <laughs> no, that was absolutely fantastic, man. That was brilliant. Um, I'm trying to, well, in fact, you guys do it because it's quite hard for me. Tell me how you rate the Judas Priest songs that have been released so far. I think it's four songs so far. Let me know in the comments below. So you go your number one, the best, down to number four, if it is four. Is it five? Is it four? Is it five? I think it's four. From number one to four or whatever it is, in the comments below, let me know what your favourites are, guys. And I'll see you soon.